Good morning. There's so much progress that's getting done around here. I have to show you. I have to give you the grand tour. Also, third trimester officially begins to die. Today is the first day of my third trimester. Kind of crazy. Pregnancy like flies by and goes by super slow at the same time. It's really weird. But apparently the third trimester is when you start blowing up. Like every day, every week, you just start growing very fast. Like it's super exponential. So um, yeah, that's gonna be diferente for sure. I already feel huge, but I know that this is probably just the beginning and she's gonna probably be up to there. Anyways, let me show you what's getting done around here. The kitchen I think is pretty much the same from yesterday. It's so much more homey now. It feels, I don't know, it feels like I'm in an actual home. So this I already showed you is gonna be switched out with that other pendant and there's gonna be gold hardware to open all the cabinets and this countertop will be wrapped in a black thingy. So this will be black. This will be hot and gold, and it just looks so good. Okay, so this is the kitchen. Also, there's gonna be a bar cart. I need a bar cart. You know, it's been so many months of not <laughs> enjoying anything from a bar that once he's out, girl, you know I'm gonna need the bar cart right here. I like the idea of something wood in here. I feel like wood would really complete this space, so I'm gonna see if we could do like a wood bar cart. I want some sort of wooden shelving system either here or here, but like a big wooden vintage-y looking thing for extra storage and just wood. I think wood in here would really make this place feel alive. This is just here temporarily because my studio is under construction right now. And since this is where this big mirror is and this is the background of it, I think, you know, my little mirror picks every day, I wanna make this wall right here a moment so that when I'm taking my little OOTDs and my little thumbnails like the background really pops. There's already two spots for outlets right here like this and this have power so since that's already there I think like two gorgeous sconces maybe a huge piece of art right here and maybe like a wood thing like a wood table or something where I can put a big dramatic floral or like a big dramatic plant. So that's an idea. This bench isn't gonna stay here. My studio looks completely different than it did yesterday. It's crazy what a little paint can do. So this, I feel like on camera, looks like it's the same peach as the kitchen was painted, but it's not. This is way more pinky IRL. It's like a pink, but it's not super, super pink. It's kind of muddy. And the mural is getting painted today. So this is the inspo for the mural. Initially, we were just gonna do this wallpaper. But the wallpaper was like two, three grand or something. So instead, we're doing this painted and it's gonna look super cute and I'm so excited. I'm also putting these squiggly clothing racks in here. There was two options for colors. There was like a blue one and a gold one. And I chose the gold one because this honestly feels like the squiggles on it feel funky enough. So I'm probably gonna need a couple of those because I wanna be able to fit a lot of different pieces of clothes for like try on hauls and like my little TikToks and like, you know how I do. So lots of those racks. I showed you my desk. I can link it, it's from Target. What else is going in here? Oh, some sort of fun light for right here. This is such a perfect area for something big and dramatic. So I'm thinking something gorgeous because I really get all the light for my videos from these on the mirror. Like you'd be surprised how well these can light a video. So I don't need this to be a functional like light. So I'm gonna make it something gorgeous. 
dramatic. And Henny's office is literally painted groovy room green. This is like the same shade that we painted the groovy room. It feels reminiscent. I just realized I'm still wearing my sunglasses. I just took Lou on a walk and I like never removed these. It's not that I think I'm too cool for school. I just did not realize that these were on my face. So this room, the vision is for it to be super like dark, masculine, dark woods. I mean, if you couldn't tell, there's a lot of more like girly zones in the apartment. So this room is going to be like dark cigar lounge vibes. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, in our last house, we had two desks in the office and they took up a lot of space and like I never sat at my desk. Like when I want to get work done, I like to lounge. I like to be on my laptop, like cozy up. So we decided for this place, let's just make it one desk for him. And then for me, let's do like some sort of love seat, love couch moment where I can lounge and like be around, but not be like intensely like sitting there like a corporate girly, like, you know, you know the vibes. I am a little worried that there's too much or I was a little worried that there was too much green. But now that I'm seeing this place kind of come together, I'm not really getting that vibe. But at first I'm like, wait, the kitchen cabinets are green, the office is green, the master's green, and we're doing green striped wallpaper in the nursery. Like that's a lot of bit of it. But seeing it all kind of come together and seeing how everything is really different shades, different vibes, different energies. And I think once each space has different furniture in it, I don't think it's gonna feel when you walk in like a green machine. I really don't, especially now seeing how much pink and peach and other colors there are. I'm feeling good on the green front. Hello, mama! She has so much fun every day that the girls come in. One thing about Miss Mo is that she loves being around girls. Because she senses that they're not a threat and that they're very nice. And she just loves girly pops. She loves feminine energy, but I really think she's going to love having a little brother too. Like I think that boy energy of just like crazy, silly, fun party time, she's going to love it. Because you can roughhouse a little bit, but not too much. It'll be perfect. A pro about living in Miami is so mad! <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I didn't try to scare you, baby. I thought you had. I thought you. Oh my god, you're such a creep. I saw you look crazy right now. <laughs> I thought you were gonna see me and just be like, hey, how you doing? Do I look crazy? You look nuts. <laughs> you look like a mad scientist. Oh, I didn't notice. I didn't mean to scare you. No, I know. You're I'm, trying to probably be cute. I was like smiling all cute, being like, ooh, here I am. That looks scary. <laughs> Good morning. So much is getting done around here. Like this part two is about to go crazy because a lot is getting done. The place is looking real different and I have a lot of updates to show you. I'm trying to think. Oh, henny has been loving the vibes. You've been liking it, right? How everything's coming out. Yeah. The biggest wins so far because like every day more gets done and we start feeling more at home. We start feeling more comfortable. Like we start getting more acquainted. You know what I'm saying? The biggest win is we have hardware on the kitchen and that makes it feel so homey. And the master rug makes it feel super homey. Oh my God, I can't wait to show you everything. Like I feel like you're going to start seeing the vision come to life. I like to sing. Baby got me these fighting shirts so I can fight. These were my Father's Day gift. <laughs> we show them danger. This is danger right here. That was my Father's Day gift. The most dangerous mini shorts. The most dangerous mini shorts ever. Apparently my tie shorts are that length. I love them. And I got in boxing gloves. <laughs> can you help me get up? It looks so big in the TikTok I posted yesterday. Oh my gosh. You like it? I love it. It's huge. It's huge. You got a victim soon. Just imagine this at seven. This is seven months. Imagine it at ten. Ten? Yeah, pregnancy's ten. We've been loving it, though, honestly. I don't know. I feel like some people don't like it. I feel like everyone has a different experience. For us, we've been vibing. I love it. I love my belly. He's kicking me so much this morning. It was so cute. This morning? Yeah, it was so cute. Usually kicks at night both so the hardware is in 
And I feel like it just changed the whole vibe. Like now you can kind of see the vision start coming together. These are so good. Like, I don't know what vibes it's giving me, but it's just giving me all the good vibes. And imagine this with these countertops in black. Once these countertops are in black, everything is just gonna flow together so nicely. Oh, like these are just so gorge. I'm obsessed. Okay, so this came in. This is a Facebook Marketplace find. And I do like it, but I'm switching it to this one from Target. It's actually not like too, too crazy expensive, the Target one. The reason we got this one is because it was more on the affordable side, Facebook Marketplace, like not too expensive, but it's a little too groovy, a little too wavy, a little too urban outfitters home, which like that is the vibe that I enjoy, but I think this is just a little too much. So that's the thing. So like obviously with this space, we're doing a totally different vibe than what we usually do. And with this, I just feel like this was a little too much that like wavy girl, like vibe and it's like really cute but we want to incorporate more elements of like just classic woods dark woods initially i wanted something there that was a dark brown wood for like plates and stuff like that i also prefer something in the kitchen that's closed so that the plates and the alcohol like aren't exposed i prefer like a closed look like more clean so we're doing this one from target I've seen this before in like a friend's house and it actually looks really good. Target like makes cute furniture. It's like hit or miss, but this one is hit. Um, so we're doing this and I think it's gonna just fit the vibe a lot better. I also like that it's gonna all be closed in so we can have the plates in there and we can have like some drinks and cocktail makers and whatever in there and then have that all be like closed in. But I think the black is gonna look really nice against this type of wall. And I was gonna even do a bar cart also, but I think with that one, it'll be enough. Cause this isn't the biggest kitchen in the world and I don't wanna make it feel like constricted when you're walking through it. This chair also just got in, I love it. Okay, so this is more like our OG home style and for the living room, I don't think it's gonna be as crazy and funky as the rest of this house for the living room, like doing a couple elements like this that feel comfortable, that feel familiar, that feel like more in our safe zone, like is so nice. The thing with the cloud couch that I will say is, I don't know, it is like a super comfortable couch, but as time has gone by, it really is impossible to keep it clean. And it's a very like sit down, lay down type couch. Like if you get on that couch, you're basically like laying down. Like we, when we have anybody come over, and sit on it, they end up laying. So we needed some seating like this that's a little bit more structured, a little bit more firm, and you could just like have a comfortable place to sit and chat, not so much like take a nap. How cute is this chair? I'm gonna try to link all the furniture that I'm speaking to. Yeah, so it'll be in the description if you're like curious specific pieces, but like look at this chair. It's so big and it like is groovy in terms of like shape and vibe and style, but it's so just like not eye catching at the same time. Like it just kind of like melts in. Look at how pretty this wood detail is at the bottom and I just love it. I love it so much. I feel like one person could sit here or like one person and a dog. <laughs> It's like the perfect size. So we're in the office. I look like a floating head right now. Ah, uh, that's so funny. <laughs> like, you know, in the, have you ever seen the, uh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. I haven't had my, I haven't had a sip of coffee. <laughs> the office ceiling is painted green. How fun is this? This is going to be a super dark, you talk about it. This is your. No, I, what are they going to do to the trim? I actually don't know. Does it look a little awkward, just like white? I think so. I think they're gonna paint it green too, but I think it had a, a gloss coating on it, so it made it hard to paint. So I think they're gonna try to like work on that, like maybe prime it first or something. Is or, that what it is? Or take it off, yeah. I think so. Hi, hi, I'm like in the middle. <laughs> this is Brittany. Hey. Hi, Lua. Come on in to the bedroom. 
So this room is very much still in the process. You know what pisses me off the most in life? TV wires that like stick like this. Oh my God, this is like my biggest pet peeve. We have to get a handyman in here ASAP and get those tucked because every time I look at them, it just makes me feel like I don't have my life together. I don't know if that's like a niche thing, but like whenever I see that, I just instantly like get pissed. Okay, so the room is very much in progress. It's been painted green and it looks so nice and cozy. Like I've always had, at least in my adult life, I've always had white walls in the master. Like I've just told myself that is what makes a room feel clean and like a hotel and white, 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 white. Like I've never, I've never challenged that predisposed notion that like you need to have white walls in the bedroom to make it feel like cozy and clean and crisp. But now having this space be green, I don't know. It's like a totally different feeling. It feels relaxing. It feels cozy. It feels more cave like like i'm just in my little cave like it feels calming and i'm glad that i'm not just doing the white again because it's what feels comfortable and familiar like this feels awesome also i'm getting a lot of questions about like oh this is a rental like how are you doing all this in a rental if you think about it all i'm really doing that i'm gonna have to undo is painting the walls like i'm gonna have to paint them white on my way out but that's no big deal and the cabinets i got their approval to paint them like to switch the cabinet color so besides like the cabinets and painting the walls it's kind of all I'm changing in terms of like rental vibes. So on our way out, we'll just paint everything white. Plus the more cozy we get here, we're thinking like we might want to do a second year in this place. So yeah, if we do a second year in this place, then it becomes a little bit more worth it in that sense because we didn't just like design a whole place just to live in it for 12 months. We think we're gonna stay a second year. So it'll be a good 24 months of living here. And then on our way out, we'll paint everything. And this rug just got in. I cannot wait. I told you that this bed frame is like super makeshift, right? Like it's just like an Amazon bed frame, whatever was cheapest. It's like 50 feet tall. Like, oh my God, every time in the middle of the night I get up to pee and I get off this bed and my REM sleep, I feel like I'm coming off of a mountain. But yeah, this is temporary. There, This is the bed that's gonna go here. And think about how pretty this brown is gonna look with this rug. Also, nothing makes me happier than a super, super, super big rug under a bed. Like, it just feels so bougie. Like, something about a rug of this size feels luxurious, it feels rich, it feels gorgeous. It needs to settle, but this place is really starting to come together and feel like home. Like, it's a totally different vibe when you have a rug under the bed. Like, you know what I mean? Just move in things. I don't even think you have to be a mom to have heard of this, because it's like a pretty... It's like a topic that I, even I've seen before all this. They say, there's like this new thing that people say that you're supposed to sleep train your baby, which means you essentially like leave them by themselves and then just let them like cry it out and you don't soothe them. They learn how to self soothe. And like, that's like the new wave, apparently. That's what the moms are doing. We decided we're not gonna do that. Um, Cause like I do get it in theory but if it were me, that's not what I would choose. I don't know, it feels a little lonely, scary. Like I don't even like to sleep myself personally. Like I don't enjoy that. So we are gonna sleep with him in our room for the foreseeable, like not anything psycho. Like we're not gonna be the types to like have our grown kid like sleeping in the bed with us. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but that's definitely not the vibe we're going for either. But at least for the first like, I don't know, four to five months, we're gonna sleep with him like in a little bassinet in our room so i haven't measured anything actually i don't even know if we're like measuring or like keeping account of space but this room feels big enough to have a bassinet in it so yeah i don't know i feel like this like green color is like nice and calming and i'm just like getting all the good vibes from it the nursery is going to be done and like we're going to do it and he'll live there eventually but for the first couple months especially with me getting up every what is it, two hours to breastfeed? I don't know, I mean, I've never done this shit before. But apparently you wake up like every two hours to breastfeed. I don't wanna run to the other side of the house. Like I wanna just stay in my cozy little room, walk over to the bassinet, grab him, feed him, put him back. So yeah, I mean, I know it's like rude to give advice on stuff to like, I, there's like a whole subculture of like the mom life. I'm like figuring it out, okay? Apparently it's like rude to give unsolicited advice in comments and like on people's stuff. But in this case, honestly, go for it. If you have experience with this, did you have the baby in their own room from the get? Or did you like have them in your room with you for a little bit? 
Also, any tips on avoiding just like them getting too old? I mean, I don't think that's gonna be an issue because that's like not something I personally vibe with. I'm not gonna have a, I'm not gonna have somebody that can speak to me. Like if you're old enough to say like, how was your day? Personally, I don't want you sleeping in my bed. And if you're old enough to say, how was your day? Personally, I don't want you sucking on my teeth. But that's just a me thing. So I don't know, you let me know your opinion. Like I'm letting you know it's not like a rude thing right now. Like I'm opening the conversation. Like let's talk about it because I'm, I'm curious. Okay, so let me update you on this mural because a lot of details got added to it. Like she low-key went crazy and I'm obsessed with it. So if you look close now, there's like nail polish bottles, makeup palettes, cleansers, oils. Like it's just so cute. Also, this might be my favorite girl. I just love like the silhouette of this. And just like the more you look at it, the more the details kind of jump out at you. And I'm really glad that it's so fun for this room because again, my last makeup room was super neutral and it was just a solid wallpaper throughout. And this one's like, the more you look at it, the more details you notice and like, Every time you look, you kind of see something new. What I'm most excited for in this room is getting the rug put in, because it's so echoey whenever I film like a video or a TikTok in here, like you can kind of hear the emptiness. So I think once the rug gets laid down, that will be like not a thing anymore. And then I showed you before, I'm putting in those like wavy clothing racks, which is gonna be super helpful for when I do like try on videos and like stuff like that, where I wanna just keep the new clothes in here to like shoot whatever. Oh, and she's building right now a big, like white storage thing that's like cute to look at, but for PR. So this room is gonna be kind of like, honestly, a place for me to put all my girly shit so I can be out of the way of the house. Like all the PR, all the shit that kind of like builds up can get annoying for like probably honey. Like I'm sitting here with like all my like makeup and shit like all over the house all the time. So having like one room with its own storage system to like put all of that in and like give it its own zone will be fab. So I just, I just, I walked in the room, I'm like, are you camera shy or not? No, 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 I'm, I'm good. Okay, so what's the vision? All right, so I've been obsessed with like cloud ceilings lately, but we want to do this one a little bit different with some extra details. So we're going to put some airplanes, like different colors, mm -hmm. like yellow and like a light red and green. And there's, so there's going to be like clusters of clouds with airplanes going through and maybe like little like twinkling stars in between. So yeah. Oh, I don't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, hot. I'm like, she's like, wait, wait what? <laughs> On the first day she was like doing the mural. She's like, I'm thinking about adding some lipstick. I'm like, you cannot tell Picasso how to do the art. Like, just do what you want to do. That's my favorite quote forever. I'm like, all right, I gotta trust my gut from now on. Like, like just do that shit. Like, airplanes. Like, I did not know about yeah. any of that. It's gonna be so cute. So yeah, this room, I mean, it's a nursery. We're trying to have fun with it. And I think it'll be a nice balance with all like the pink and stuff and all the girly vibes. It'll be a nice balance to have this boy room. Yeah. You honestly slay on camera. I know, I'm like, I want to start calling. You should. <laughs> you guys inspire me. 